picked up a camera at a time in my life when I went, I had a personal crisis and I lost my faith in words. Like I stopped writing, which had been my livelihood for 20 years. I stopped talking to people, which is like what I've done since birth is talk. And I picked up a camera and for two or three years, I learned a language that that was the one I'd always been waiting for. It was of imagery. So what makes your photos different, right? Look at, in this case, it's a use of light and moment and and he's shooting through like a beaded curtain so so a lot of people when they make a photograph think i need to get like the literal image that shows this was a wedding couple and they were getting married you know it's like but that's anybody can make a literal photo and the the work um i try to encourage students to do is to find out all you have all these tools to make a photo that you're the only person that could have made that photo humor to make a photograph mine you know like i don't i don't it's like i am always amused by things that are are cut off it's got to be very intentional my mother growing up used to cut everybody's heads off in family photographs and um when i became a photographer and it's it's very much kind of a hallmark of my work where i use edges and things that are cut off and she goes sir how come when i do it it's a mistake and when you do it you know it's like you know a, a photograph and i'm like well mom because i knew i was cutting that off i did it I, I chose to do that photographs that answer questions aren't as interesting to me as photographs that ask questions complex compositions are a way to make your photos different uh there's a whole learning process in figuring out how to do a complex composition but like Nobody else is going to make this same photo in this place. It's actually in the um, a very rural area in Laos. And you can see like that this kid, I was just trying to catch the moment when everything, you know, we all love, uh, anybody I think who really loves a photography kind of aspires in some way to do a complex composition. I asked you all for a reason to send me, to, to send, you know, us, like pick a photo that you think is really good and then pick a photo that you're not so sure about. Because I, I gotta tell you, photographers are pretty crap at editing their own work. Um, we, I think I'm actually a good photo editor because I was a writer, which is a whole other conversation, but photographers usually miss their very best work. This is the one Reggie's sure of. Unsure. Oh, okay, Reggie, also I looked at this and was like, boom, there's your photo. It's about where, you know, like the place you're standing, the moment, composition, light, emotion, you know, that all are about how you are processing the place where you are in a way that nobody else would be doing it because only you has, have the experiences you've had. Only, only you have the point of view that you've got. I'm not really not interested in seeing your technically perfect photograph if it doesn't, if it doesn't have layers, you know, in it. So there are all kinds of ways to make layers, whether you use the, these are all tools in your bag as a photographer, whatever level of photographer you are.